Hey guys, I'm gonna start setting up my summer holiday experiments today, so I thought you'd like to see what we're getting up to. So, Butterfly World. I'm quite excited about this one, um, just because I think it's gonna be really pretty. Um, and experiments should be pretty, experiments should be pretty and fun. Why shouldn't everything just be pretty and fun? So, what have we got in the box? So we have what looks like a big net um, order form. Um, so I have to go and order the butterflies on the internet um, and then they will arrive shortly. So I will do that today. Cup of butterflies. Good, cup of butterflies, I will order that. Then we have a little pipette. I like little pipettes. A little bit clip on butterflies. Um unzip. Unzip this. Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect it to do that. And then little N little net thingy bobby for the butterflies so that is where they will um live i think i might hang that up there i think they'll look quite nice up top of my desk um i will see where it says that the butterflies should be living when they arrive and while we're waiting the booklet has gone into my jar of experiments hey i am setting up stick insect world or living twig indian stick insect kit um, I've never had a stick insect before, so I have absolutely no idea what to expect. But I am quite excited about this because they just seem really cool. So I'm excited. Let's let's see what's in the box. Okay, so looking very similar to a butterfly world so far. Um, looks like more instructions. Have to order um, stuff on the internet again. Um, internet order form, I will do that now so that we don't have to wait too long to see um, the stick insects. Instructions on how not to kill stick insects, these are always very important. Little paintbrush to paint the stick insects with, I think. I'll find out, I don't know. Put that there. Um, and then just like the um, butterfly one, nice little basket to put them in. So I'm paired this time, but if I won't shock me about me, did this. Oh. <laughs> cool. So that is for my stick insects. I'll I'll hang them up there next to my butterfly, and we can watch them develop over the summer. Hey guys, today I'm going to use my massive beaker and some relatively tiny broad beans to show you how geotrophism works. So if we look at our broad beans close up, you can see they have this end on them and this is the end where things are going to start happening but what I want to see what I want to show you is does it matter whether this end is pointing down or does it matter whether it's pointing up or does it matter whether it's pointing sideways so here they are with a little nodule on the left, with it on the right, with it on the bottom and with it on the top. I will water these and track these over a few days and show you in which direction the shoots and the roots grow. Hey guys, today we're going to be an experiment about rusting. So in this experiment where we're looking at rusting, I'm going to set up five different conditions. I'm going to set up air only, I'm going to set up something that has a drying agent in, which is going to remove any moisture from the air. Um, this is just water in here, so this will be water and air. Here I have salt water and air, so I've just some, taken some water and added some normal salt to it. And this is water only. This is boiled cold water with a layer of oil on top to stop any um, air getting in. And to each of these I'm going to add two different nails. I am going to add a normal 
um, iron nail and I'm going to add a galvanized iron nail. Now the galvanized iron nail has a layer over the top of it. This is of a different metal and the idea of this different metal is that it's going to stop it rusting. So two nails going into each condition. And I'm going to leave these here for a few months. Um, I'll check back in periodically with them to see what is happening. And then I'll show you the results right at the end. Asexual reproduction can happen in plants. Here we're going to look at it happening in a strawberry plants. Strawberry plants send off runners, which are these long extra bits which come out of the main plant. And if we look on the end here, you can see there's this like extra little plant that has just developed and there are loads of them all over the place look there's a massive one hiding in there so what i'm going to do is um plant some of these up and then we can see asexual reproduction in progress